So we, what's amazing is we serve an Elohim of order. Everything is mapped out. Just like you look in creation, everything has its order. Everything is perfect according to the way he designed it. Even how we assemble. And so just like the, the children of Israel uh, surrounded their father in a particular order, so we will be gathering around our Heavenly Father in that same order. And let's go. It's so uh, Revelation 4. And after this I looked, and behold, a gate was opening in the Shamaim, and the first voice which I heard was as it were a shofar talking with me, and said, Come up hither, and I will show you things which must come hereafter. And immediately I was in the Ruach, in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like an emerald. What's the rainbow symbolize? It's the covenant. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings, and thunderings, and voices. Which reminds us of Exodus 19, before they were getting the, the covenant, right? From Shavuot. And there were seven menorot of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven ruachot, seven spirits of Yahweh. And before the throne there was a sea of glass, like unto crystal, like we see in Revelation 15. The overcomer standing on the sea of glass. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four living creatures full of eyes before and behind. And the first living creature was like a lion. And the second living creature was like a calf. And the third living creature had a face as a man. And the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. And the four living creatures had each of them six wings about him. And they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, holy, holy Yahuwah Elohim Sabaoth, which was and is and is to come. And when those living creatures gave glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who lives forever and ever, and the four and twenty elders fell down before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that lives forever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Yahweh Loheinu, to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. Let's keep going. And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaim with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open this book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Yahudah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven ruachot, the seven spirits of Yahuwah, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four living creatures and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them kitaras and golden vials full of the odors, which are the prayers of the Kodeshim. And they sung a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for you were slain, and have redeemed us to Yahuwah by your blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And have made us unto our Yah kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. That is a promise. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the living creatures, and the elders. And the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, 
such as are in the sea and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the four and twenty, twenty elders fell down and worshipped before him that lives forever and ever. Rhetorical question, who here wants to be part of that? Who wants to be round about the throne, praising him who lives forever and ever? Can we do that song? Please, can we? Is that okay? Absolutely. Please. Okay, yes, absolutely, right now, if you don't mind. This is another song they just made by the Ruach of Elohim that is just amazing. Earlier I was saying, both and sisters, earlier I was saying that Hasatan has changed generations through music. Can we see that? Some of you older generations here. Have you seen people changed by music and how the music has influenced people to go astray from Yah and astray from holiness? Do you think that Yahweh can do the same thing to bring people back to him? I believe he is raising up the spirit of the spirit of Elohim and prophets through song. And I believe he's using people like these right here and Ashira and others to bring people back through music. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he can do, he can bring us back through many ways. He can, just bring, he can bring us back through just reading the word. He can bring us back through an excellent teaching or a study. But I'm going to tell you what, brother and sister, I think the masses are coming through music. Praise Yah. Praise, Praise Yah. Yah. Uh, I'm excited for this one. Okay, all right. I'll stall. I'll stall him for just a second. Okay. Um, anyways, so let's turn back to uh, to Bemi Bar chapter three. We'll get ready for that. Share it, please. Okay, you you you'll kill time. All right, good. Did you talk about? So you talked about how the ark is a representation of his throne. Throne, right? It's supposed to look like it. Was warned to be very careful to make it exactly. According to that. Hallelujah. If you have uh, Revelation 15, open it up and you can find it. Uh, and the NASB is what I used for this song, and it's word for word, just scripture. The bridge is a little different because uh, we, we added uh, this bridge part to encompass what we were singing, uh, but the main part is the song of the Lamb. And if you weren't here last night, I, I kind of uh, explained the you know, when we sing the song of Moshe, the song of Moshe is not about Moshe. The song of Moshe is about the deliverance that came from Yah. It's glory to Yah. And the song of the Lamb is the same thing. It's not about exactly the Lamb, although it is, but it's primarily about Him giving glory to the Father. It's a song from the Lamb. The Lamb is singing and proclaiming this song to Yahuwah. He says, I come to bring glory to the Father, to bring esteem to Him. That was His purpose and His goal, and He showed us what it meant to live for Him completely. So as we sing this, great and marvelous are your works, O Yahuwah. Great and marvelous are your works. Oh, I just love that passage.
in this park, earth will be singing. Who was and is and is to come, the lion and the lamb have overcome. Sing the song of Moshe and the song of the lamb. Testify the Son of God, believe and keep his commands. Sing the song. Yeah. <laughs>